In the last five years, development in Kai cricket has gone from bad to worse, with political infighting one of the contributing factors. According to former Kai cricket president and now acting CEO, Vusum Zingenangaye, it has been the continuous political interference from the mother body, Cricket South Africa, that has toppled Kai cricket. Now, what happened, those guys, they showed me all the, the things that they can do for Kai Cricket if we chase away this current CEO. As a president, you have the power of influence on your board. I told you, Mr. Mali, because I met with Mr. Mali, that no, I cannot do that. No, 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 we heard that this guy wants to leave. So when all you need to do is to show him the door. Here, we are prepared to pay him for the next coming six months. I said, no, I have to take down this to the board as well as Mr. Tank. He repeated that on the 1st of June in East London. High Cricket last month appointed two new player coaches in Siabule Langosana and Tembali Tumja. Who How has it been so far for the month that you've been here? Yeah, it's, it's nice because that's what I like the most. Because I'm doing the job that I like the most. Not because someone pushed me behind just doing this and do that. I'm the one who decided to, when I wake up in the morning what I'm going to do in this field. And I will play, will play only friendly, two, three friendly games, two at Bathaworth and one here so far. At, the, at, the, at, the, at this point in time, we are actually focusing on Abandwana, the kids that are younger than 19. Because most the majority of players that are 19 years are on metric. So we need to give them the opportunity of actually focusing on the schools, the school work. Okay. So we've drawn the pictures and then we, we're going to be having e-leagues, which we're going to launch actually this week. Last week actually got drained, as you've seen. So we're looking at doing that next week. With also EII schools, uh, the special schools around here. Now, we also actually wrote them in to actually give them la that that that, yeah, well, that support in terms of you now we are here to develop a career even if you were actually an outcast from the previous years we here with the different plan come and join us please schools in and around umtata mainly pointed out kai cricket's lack of involvement in schools cricket structures as they continue to make empty promises the other issue most of the schools face is the lack of playing facilities. Yeah, in terms of the field developments, mm -hmm. which is the pitches, mm -hmm. particularly, because we've been requesting for nets, especially in schools. They had a very great idea of identifying certain primary schools and then connecting primary kids to certain high schools that are cricketing high schools, because we haven't got many cricketing high schools in Ontario. But then has that transpired over the years? Um, uh, not really into action, except that the president told me that um, um, my school, for instance, is one of the schools that have been identified for that because of the kind of players we're producing. And when, when, when was this? I, I think um, three months ago, something. And that was also said last year, if I remember very, very well. They also promised to install some nets here, which they haven't done yet. We're still playing on that pitch. It's not really, it's not a pitch, really. it's just a ground, <laughs> leveled ground. When was the last time you played in a school You were about two seasons ago. And we don't play in any matches. At the, look, we've only just started the season now. Mm -hmm. um, last year? We didn't have any matches last year. If mm -hmm. we do have a match, we, we, you know, we take the odd trip out to Elliot to go and play cricket.